Take us back, Cap. Back out of this. Should we go on drinking in this terrible darkness? Not by my advice. Are we of Nadia afraid of the dark? Mouse, you're a hard taskmaster. Post lookouts at the bows. We know not what might come upon us. Let us put up lights, Your Majesty. Lights, man! Lights fore and aft, and at the masthead! Every man be silent. Keep his ears open. Waves breaking up on the shore. Another island? Three fathoms. Three fathoms, Captain. Two fathoms. Two fathoms, Captain. Do not fear you. If you are friend, come to us. Where are you? Come aboard and welcome. Captain. Thank you, Rince. Bring her about. Heave to. Your Majesty! What is the trouble? You, you must get away! You must get away! This is the island where dreams come true! Oh, that's the island I've been searching for all my life. Dreams come true? I'd have my own ship. You fools! It's not, not dreams, not daydreams, not desires, but where your worst dreams, your worst nightmares come true! You must turn the ship around, give her full sail, you must get away! I'll pull for your lives! You may say what you like, there are some things no man can face. Huge pair of scissors, opening and shutting, getting closer and closer to my body. Scissors, scissors, scissors. Listen! Scissors! I can hear them scuttering up the side of the ship. Oh, no! They're coming! They're coming! They're coming! Settling on the mast. They're coming! We're going down these circles! We're going down these circles! They're coming! Settling on the mast! We're going down these circles! So many! Settling on the mast! Aslan, Aslan! If you ever love us at all, help us now! Courage. Courage, dear Sailormen follow an albatross. Do it! You, you who saved me, tell me who you are. I, when I was worth anything, was Lord Root of Narnia. And I am Caspian, King of Narnia. I've come to find you and your companions, who were my father's friends. Sire, grant me a boon, I pray you. 
Never send me back to that accursed place. <laughs> what? You've destroyed it. I don't think it was us. Caspian, will this quest ever end? Edmund, really? Of course it will. Will it? All right, when? We have located four of the missing lords. Surely you believe, as I do, that we will find the other three soon. But we've come so far. Well, we must be reaching the limits of the Eastern world. Well, soon there will be nowhere left to look. Perhaps this is the last item. But what are they? Beaver sitting on a table? No, it's a huge bird's nest. Looks more like a haystack to me. They will not fight, I think. Are they dead? No, sire. He is warm and his pulse beats. Why, they're only asleep. It must have been pretty long sleep for their hair to go like that. An enchanted sleep. It must be. This island is magic. Do you think we came here to break the spell? We can try. Here are their family crests. The last of the seven lords. Our quest is ended. No, it isn't. We can't wake them. Too much magic in the air around here, sire. Let's get back to a ship. Begging your majesty's pardon. Well, we don't see a dinner like this every day. Eat that food? Never. Depend upon it, sire. It was from eating this food that these lords came by their seven years' sleep. I wouldn't touch it for my life. Captain, back to the ship. Well, the men are right. We can decide tomorrow what we're going to do with the sleepers. We don't eat the food, and there's no point staying here all night. Entirely right for the ship's company, but I will sit at this table all night. Reap, why? This is a great adventure, and the worst thing would be knowing when I get back to Narnia that fear made me walk away from a mystery. I'll stay with you, Reap. And I. And me. Very well, I'll stay too. Your Majesty. Your place, Drinian, is with the ship. Take the men and leave us. All right, sir. Hang on, Ritz. Them, with me. Well, where do we sit? Not too close. Certainly not. Once it gets dark, who knows what might have happened. On the other hand, too far away, and if they did start moving, we wouldn't see a thing. Now remember, we must not fall asleep. Travellers who have come from afar to Aslan's table, welcome. But why do you not eat and drink? Madam, we feared the food. We thought it had cast our friends into an enchanted sleep. They have never tasted it. Well, how did they get like that then? Seven years ago they came here in a ship. Its sails in rags. Its timbers were almost falling apart. When they came to this table, such an argument grew. Should they stay and eat and end their lives in peace? Or return to Narnia? Or venture on behind the sunrise? The quarrel grew until one gripped the knife of stone. But it was a thing not right for him to touch. And as his fingers closed upon the hilt, deep sleep fell upon all three. Until the enchantment is undone, they will never wake. But why do you not eat? I've told you it is safe. Careful not a coward. When I look in your face, 
I believe everything you say. It's just like a witch. That's rubbish, Edmund. Is it? How are we to know that this lady is a friend? You can't know. You can only believe. Or not. I can't say I've ever had turkey pie for breakfast. But... Delicious. Please, why is it called Aslan's table? It stays set here at his bidding for those who come so far. Some call this island the world's end. But though you can sail still further, this is the last island and the beginning of the end. But how does the food keep? It is renewed every day. This you will see. In the world of my friends, they have a story of a prince arriving at a castle where all the people lie in an enchanted sleep. In that story, he could not dissolve the enchantment until he had kissed the princess. Well, here it is different. Here he cannot kiss the princess until he has dissolved the enchantment. Then, in the name of Aslan, show me how to set about that work at once. My father will teach you that. Sir, will you tell us how to undo the enchantments which hold these Narnian lords asleep? My son, to break this enchantment, you must sail right to the world's end, or as near as you can come to it. And you must return, leaving at least one member of your company behind. And what will happen to that one? He must go on to the utter east and never return to the world. That would be the greatest adventure of all. I am Ramandu. <laughs> I see the name means nothing to you. And no wonder. For the days when I was a star in the heavens ceased a long time before any of you knew the world. So you're no longer a star? I am a star at rest, my daughter. When I set for the last time, old beyond all that you can reckon, I was carried to this island. But I am not as old now as I was then. Every morning, a bird brings me a fireberry from the valleys in the sun. And every fireberry takes a little of my age. When I am as young as a child that was born yesterday, I shall take my rising again and once more tread the great dance. Come, are you yet resolved? Do you sail home or to the end of the world? Sir, there is no question about that. It is very plainly part of our quest to rescue these three lords from their enchantment. Thank you, Reaper Chief. I think so too. It would break my heart not to go as close to the world's end as the Dawn Treader will take us. Sire. What is it, Rooney? What of the crew? They signed on to seek the Seven Lords, not to reach the edge of the world. If we sail east from here, we may well reach the edge. 
And some of them are afraid of what will happen to us there. Besides, Caspian, there is Lord Root. True. He is a broken man. He needs rest. In this island, there is sleep beyond measure. Sleep without dreams. Let him sit with the other three and drink oblivion until your return. You're here to speak. Speak, Your Majesty. What the men are asking is, whether we turn back here or further east, how do we get back home? And why is that? It's been west winds all the way, driving us ever further and further east. If the winds don't change, how do we get back to Narnia? That's landsman's talk, Rince. In these seas, seems to me, there's a prevailing wind in the late summer. After the new year, it will change. And we'll have sufficient wind to take us westward and home. Aye. Aye, winds there may be. But by your leave, sire, if I was in command, I'd say winter here and begin the voyage home in March, in spring and fine weather. And what will you eat while you winter here? Well, this table's filled with the king's banquet every day. That'd do fine. That's for us. We go no further. Uh, Aye. Stay. What are we to do? There's mutiny in the air. Listen all. There is one among us known for its bravery. Have you nothing to say, Rupert Chief? Why, Your Majesty? What is there to be said? My own plans are made. While I can, I shall sail east on the dawn treader. When she fails me, I paddle east in my coracle. When she sinks, I shall swim east with my four paws. When I can swim no longer, if I have not yet reached Aslan's country, then I shall sink with my nose to the sunrise. I say the same, barring the bit about the coracle, for it wouldn't bear my weight. <laughs> I'm not going to be outdone by a mouse. Good man, Rince. Friends, I will not deceive you. The last part of our voyage may take us into places more dangerous and more sacred than any we have seen before. In Aslan's name, I will take no hands who are unwilling. I want only those men hardest in battle, most skilled in seamanship, most loyal to our person. Aslan's maid. Do you think the privilege of seeing the last things is to be bought for a song? Why, every man who sails with us will bequeath the golden title of Dawn Treader to all his descendants forevermore. Only those good enough, skilled enough, brave enough will come. So, Who's with me? I'm 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 Where the waves grow sweet. Doubt not, Rupichi. There is the utter east. Mouse. Sire. We're here then. We've reached it. The end of the world. What do you think it will be like? We go on and on, as though drawn by the strongest current. Not so nice. If the world really has an edge, and we're getting close to it, why, that's how I've always imagined it. The world like a great round table, the waters of all the oceans pouring endlessly over the edge. The ship will tip up. For a moment we shall see over the edge. Then down, down, down. No! Aye. Aye, but what will we be waiting for us when we get there? Aslan's country. What do you 
you see. It looks like ice. It's not ice. Yet, what is it? Fulfilled our quest. The seven lords are all accounted for, and if one of us stays behind here, you will find when you go back that the three sleeping lords are awake. To you, my lord Drinian, I leave the ship, bidding you sail back to Narnia with all speed. And all of you, led by the lord Drinian, will choose a new king. But, sire, are you abdicating? I must stay to see the world's end. Caspian, you can't do this. Most certainly, His Majesty cannot. For you know, sire, that I am the one to stay. Can't? Who says can't to a king? Begging your pardon, sire, but... Well, if one of us did that, it would be called deserting. Rhinoff, you presume too much on your long service. Nay, sir. He is right. By the main of Aslan, I thought you were my subjects here, not my masters. I am not your subject, and I say you cannot do this thing. Your Majesty. You break faith with all your subjects if you do not return. You shall not please yourself with adventures as though you were a private person. You dare to lecture me! Caspian! Didn't you almost promise to Ramadou's daughter that you'd go back to her? Then we all go back. Majesty, for the spell to work, one must stay. And I am that one. Will no one silence that mouse? Prince Caspian. Prince Caspian, hear me. Aslan has been with you. <laughs> and his words were terrible. You are to go reap, and you, Edmund, Lucy, and Eustace. Do you understand? We're to be parted. I'm to go back, and you go on alone, beyond the end of this world. And he means now, at once. What is the good of anything? Dear Caspian, you knew we had to go back to our own world sooner or later. This is sooner. Did he say what else is to happen, here, after we have gone? Oh, yes. I go on alone. I shall not eat this anymore.
We're aground. We can sail no further. Come along. Aslan's country is from your own world. There is a way to Aslan, from our world too. Will you tell us how to get to your country from our world? When the moment comes, you will know. But now I will open the door in the sky and send you back to your own land. Are we able to come back to Narnia? Lucy, you and your brother will never come back to Narnia. You are too old. Back to your own world with you. Did it really happen? Mm -hmm. 